Congressman Elliot Engels, the Democrat from New York and the ranking member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. My pleasure. All right. Let me ask you about that. Um, we've seen something from a House Republican, something from a Senate Democrat. Do you think the president needs your authorization at this point to move forward against ISIS, specifically in Syria? Well, my reading of the War Powers Act is that the president has 60 days uh, to act alone before he needs to come to Congress. But I believe the president should come to Congress. I think that the authorizations uh, that we had in the past with Iraq are no longer relevant, and certainly for, for Syria uh, as well. So I think the president should do it. We need to have uh, uni a, a united um, front and the way the president does that the best is by of course coming to congress so i would say absolutely now last time you and i talked about this things were really heating up and we talked about the possibility of boots on the ground the president has said that idea is what he termed a profound mistake but do you think we can get this done we can decimate isis if that is the long-term goal without putting more u.s personnel as we have had a steady stream of small uh deployments there do you think we can do it without putting more boots on the ground well, I would hope so. Uh, we, we do have the Kurds on the ground. We have what's left of the Iraqi uh, army on the ground. And, and I would hope we wouldn't need to do any uh, boots on the ground. Um, there may at some point have to be some kind of special forces, but I don't want to jump ahead of myself. Uh, I think that ISIS must be stopped. It must be stopped at all costs. I think the um, brutal beheadings that we've seen recently uh, shows the world uh, what kind of thugs uh, we're dealing with. And uh, if we allow uh, ISIS to, uh, to fester and to have a no-man's land with which they can pl uh, plan and plot attacks on the U.S. homeland, uh, they'll do it. We, we saw what happened with the Taliban in Afghanistan, and the result was September 11, 2001. This will happen again uh, if we don't stop it. But again, it cannot be us alone. Uh, it's got to be NATO. I'm glad the president is, is bringing NATO together, but uh, we need more from other countries as well. This has to be a, a unified uh, coalition uh, against ISIS. ISIS is certainly a danger to the U.S. homeland. And, Congressman, I know that you were just in Israel uh, just days ago, and I'd like to ask you what their perspective is on this, given that they are much closer, geographically at least, to the situation that's playing out. Well, I, I think they rightfully uh, look at Hamas as uh, ISIS. Uh, you know, terrorism is terrorism, and there's no difference, in my opinion, between the Hamas terrorists and the ISIS terrorists. And Israel, of course, faces terrorism every single day. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that the United States has stood with Israel and has uh, saved countless number of Israelis' li lives uh, with the Iron Dome. Israel fights terrorism each and every day, and unfortunately, a terrorism is something that's, that's growing. And it frustrates me in a way that some of our European allies uh, don't quite see it this way. The Middle East is a lot closer geographically uh, to them than it is to us, and sure as can be the way the terrorists uh, every day uh, plan attacks on Israel. They're planning attacks on uh, Europe and on the United States, and that's why they need to be stopped at all costs. The threats are many. Uh, Congressman Engel, we thank you for your time today, sir, and uh, we'll see you back here in Washington. Thank you, Shannon. Always a pleasure.